we are asked to solve the given equations. The first equation is x raised to the power of two-thirds equals 64. For the first step, we will clear the fractional exponent from the equation by raising both sides of the equation to the power of the denominator of the rational exponent. Remember, when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So because the rational exponent has a denominator of three, we will begin by cubing both sides of the equation. On the left, we multiply the exponents. Before multiplying, though, notice how we have a common factor of three between the numerator and denominators. Three divided by three simplifies the one, and now multiplying, we just have two times one or two, giving us the equation x squared equals 64 cubed. And now from here to solve for x, we have two ways to undo the squaring. We can use a rational exponent or we can use a square root. Let's show both methods. So let's write the equation down here below again. If we want to use rational exponents, we would raise both sides of the equation to the reciprocal power of two. The reciprocal of two is one half. So we would raise both sides of the equation to the one half power. But before we do this, notice how we have a positive number on the right side. On the left, we have x squared. We know when we square a positive or square a negative, we do get a positive and therefore we are going to have two solutions here. To make sure we get both solutions, we need to include a plus or minus on the right. So we raise both sides of the equation to the one half power, but we also include a plus or minus on the right so that we get both solutions. So whenever the exponent here is even, we will have two solutions and we'll have to include a plus or minus to get both solutions. And now simplifying, Multiplying the exponents here, two times one half is two halves or one. X to the first is just x. So we have x equals plus or minus. On the right, multiplying the exponents, three times one half is three halves. We have x equals plus or minus 64 raised to the three halves power. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. We have 64 raised to the power of three halves or three divided by two, enter, which gives us 512. So our solutions are x equals plus or minus 512. So one solution is positive 512 and the other is negative 512. So just remember, when the exponent is even here, to get both solutions, we need a plus or minus on the right. Whenever the exponent is odd, we don't have to worry about this. There will only be one solution. Another way to undo the squaring is to take the square root of both sides. Again, when doing this, we include a plus or minus on the right. The square root of x squared is equal to x. We have x equals plus or minus the square root of 64 cubed. Going back to the calculator, if we press, if we press second x squared, we have the square root, and then we have 64 raised to the third, enter, and of course we get the same result. Let's look at our second example. We have x to the four-thirds power equals nine. First step, we raise both sides of the equation to the power of the denominator, which is three. So we cube both sides of the equation. On the left, we multiply the exponents. Before multiplying though, notice how the threes simplify out or simplify to one, giving us just four times one or four. So we have x to the fourth equals nine cubed. And again, there's two ways to solve this equation. We can use a rational exponent or we can use a radical. So let's copy the equation down below to show both methods. Using rational exponents, we would raise both sides of the equation to the reciprocal power of four, which is one fourth. But again, because the exponent is even here, we are going to have a positive and negative solution. So we include a plus or minus on the right. So we raise both sides of the equation to the one-fourth power and include a plus or minus on the right. Multiplying the exponents, four times one-fourth is one. X to the first is just X. We have X equals plus or minus. Multiplying the exponents here, we have nine to the three-fourths. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. We have nine raised to the power of three divided by four, enter. Notice how this does not come out to a nice value, so we'll leave the two solutions as plus or minus 
9 raised to the 3 fourths. And now let's solve it using a radical. Another way to undo the fourth power is to take the fourth root of both sides of the equation. So let's also show this. Of course, we have a plus or minus as well. The fourth root of x to the fourth is equal to x. We have x equals plus or minus the fourth root of nine cubed. But we can simplify this. We know we have three factors of nine, and because nine is equal to three times three, we actually have six factors of three here. To simplify, let's write this as x equals plus or minus the fourth root of three times three times three times three times three times three. Again, we have six threes here because we know we have three nines. Each nine is two factors of three. And because we have the fourth root, notice here we have three to the fourth, and therefore this will simplify. This simplifies to one factor of three, and then we have a nine under the fourth root. So the final solution in radical form would be x equals plus or minus three times the fourth root of nine. I hope you found this helpful.